So, when you first start home brewing, one of the things that you do will be trying kit beers. And there's kit beers and there's all grain brewing using all the grains. And one of the things I've always wondered is with these kit beers, how closely do they imitate the original? And I've never been able to test that out. Uh, I think I, you know, I've, I've never found a Woodford's Wherry uh, on tap before or in a bottle before, not at least in this area. However, what I have found the other day was a bottle of St. Peter's Golden Ale. And I don't know if the camera's focusing on that. Woo! Is it focusing? No idea. St. Peter's Golden Ale, really nice beer. Obviously the commercial, I didn't bottle this, otherwise I'd be very impressed. Um, however, if I go over to my rather shit looking bottle over here, there we go. So this is also St. Peter's Golden Ale, except I brewed this and if I get my little diary, I've essentially got a little brewing book. So every time I make a brew, I write in it. So here's my brewing book. Again, it may not appear very well on camera because it's on white, you know, just white black pen. And uh, this beer was bottled on the 28th of January, which is over three months ago. So actually, over three months, that should be maturing into a really nice beer. It's a kit beer, obviously, so arguably, maybe it's never going to be quite as good as the original. But that's the purpose of this video, we're about to find out. So St. Peter's Golden Ale, um, the only main difference I can tell without tasting the beers at this stage is that the bottle um, St. Peter's Golden Ale is 4.7% uh, volume, whereas uh, the, the one I've brewed is 3.9% volume. And if you've got a St. Peter's kit, any St. Peter's kit, it's worth mentioning that actually I deliberately didn't follow uh, the water volumes when I did that brew. I actually brewed it short at 20 litres. And despite brewing it short at 20 litres, um, it still came out weaker than the original. Obviously there's a ways around that if you really wanted to, although I don't advise it with the double tin kit beers because in my view they're perfect as they are when you brew them. Uh, you could have, I could have made it a little bit stronger. I could have um, added some corn sugar, dextrose into the mix, um, and that would have increased the alcohol volume. But frankly, you know, 3.9% is a really nice sessionable beer. So, you know, 47 but I'm not complaining. It's roughly the same. Um, so what I've done is I've got two different glasses for my two different beers. Uh, you'll see if you've eagle-dyed enough. Um, they've both got water in. Uh, because I did a bit of a washout. For some reason, the washing up liquid used in this in this flat is uh, is pretty potent. So anyway, what I'm going to do is pour the St. Peter's Gold now first. I am what they say going to be double fisted for this video. Sounds disgusting, doesn't it? Here we go. So St. Peter's Gold now. I'm trying to pour it so it's got a really nice head on it because. Uh, Otherwise, it's a little bit embarrassing, isn't it? If I can't even pour a beer properly and I'm meant to be a home brewer. So, yeah, really nice and clear. I think you can see that quite well on the camera. Um, yeah, really nice, clear beer. That's a nice beer. Really nice beer. This is the commercial one. I put it to the left of the laptop. You can't see over here. And now, I'm gonna open up mine. And let's hope it doesn't explode. I'm sure it won't explode. Now, this is probably gonna be hazier because I don't have the industrial equipment. Um, that St. Peter's Brewery will use. And I'm gonna not quite pour everything in because it's quite a lot of sediment. I'll leave it like that. So, this is the home brew. Now it's cloudier. For those who uh, are learning about home brewing for the first time, doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter if it's cloudy. I'm going to say that because I can't really control it. So, if we compare the two, actually, really, really similar. Obviously, um, Obviously the, the one to my left, the commercial beer, 
is going to, is much much clearer because it's gone through all the proper processes they've got in the brewery. Uh, the one on the right is my Kit St Peter's beer, hazier, but that's to be expected. Um, but it has cleared a lot. The last time I drank this was probably two months ago, and I've probably got about 30, 35 bottles of it. So let me give this a go. Cool. I mean, the first thing I can smell is hops. Much hoppier. Mmm. Hang on. Really interesting. So, not that I'm a master taste tester, but these two beers, underlyingly, 100% the same beer. Obviously, it's the same. It's the same malt extract used um, in the brewery that I brewed with here because it's a kit beer. However, big big difference is the hop aroma on my one is a lot lot stronger compared to the commercial one and I'm not surprised because if you've done these kits before you'll know they come with a little powdered hop sachet and the instructions will say essentially pour as much as you want and so I poured the whole thing in because I, I have no idea how much I needed um, and I don't particularly you know mind hops, I actually really like hops. Oh, that, that is a nice beer. I'm really really impressed with how this has come out, really impressed. Um, the great thing about um, home brewing, even doing kit beers like this, is they still work out cheaper and you can kind of change them to how you like it. Now, obviously you can't deny how good the commercial St. Peter's beer is, but to have all that hop aroma um, in this one is absolutely fantastic. And actually the one thing I didn't mention originally was obviously um, the head. But you know what, let me get one thing straight whilst I remember to do it, right? so. Some people out there who are, you know, don't really like kit beers will say you can't really get proper lacing um, on a pint, and that's when you twirl and you see the bubbles lacing down the side. Um, it's a really good indicator for how much body the beer has got. Um, and if you, if I do the same to this one, that's loads of lacing. That's proper lacing going on there. So, yeah. People out there who say kit beers don't show the same signs. Yes, they do. But which one to have now? I can't decide. I've got two.